Hey there, Game Masters. Today we're diving deep into the nitty-gritty of three dynamic combat mechanics, burst, vital strike, and power attack. We'll dissect when to use them, when not to, and I'll walk you through a sample battle where all these mechanics come into play. Trust me, this is the tactical depth your game sessions have been missing. In the heat of battle, your decision-making can make or break the combat experience for your players. So let's take a tactical look at Burst, Vital Strike, and Power Attack. Burst is your go-to when you're wielding fully automatic weapons. The idea is simple but risky. You shoot more bullets for the chance to do more damage, but this reduces your accuracy, saddling you with disadvantage on your roll. And keep this in mind, you have to commit to Burst before making that dice roll. The best time to use Burst is when you've got advantage on your roll, effectively canceling out the disadvantage. It's also super useful against enemies who are easy to hit. But steer clear of Burst when you're at long range or up against agile enemies, that's when the risk outweighs the reward. Next up is Vital Strike. This mechanic allows you to add some extra spice to your damage, but there are conditions. You need either an advantage on your attack roll or have a friendly ally within 5 feet of your enemy. The prime time to use Vital Strike? Well, imagine you've masterminded a perfect ambush, or maybe your scoundrel is lurking nearby your target. Pair Vital Strike with the help action, and you're in for a juicy damage boost. But if you find yourself isolated in a Clint Eastwood-style duel, hold off on using Vital Strike. You're better off saving it for when the conditions are just right. Lastly, let's talk about the bread and butter for all you melee enthusiasts out there, power attack. This mechanic is all about risk and reward. You intentionally make your attack less likely to land by taking a minus 5 penalty on your roll. But the payoff? A whopping plus 10 added to your damage if you do manage to hit. The golden opportunity to unleash a power attack is when you've got advantage on your roll or when you're up against an enemy who couldn't block a punch from a toddler. But if you're in a situation where landing hits feels like threading a needle, maybe give power attack a pass for now. Now, let's set the stage for our sample battle. Picture this, your party is facing off against a dangerous gang of mercenaries in an abandoned factory. The tension is palpable, and the stakes are high. Here's how each of these mechanics could add layers of strategy to this epic showdown. Your scoundrel takes position on an elevated platform, hidden from view. They've scoped out a mercenary sniper positioned across the way. Aiming their weapon, they decide to employ a vital strike. Because they're hidden, they roll with advantage. The dice gods favor them today, and they score a hit. Thanks to Vital Strike, an extra 1d6 damage is tacked onto the damage roll. The enemy sniper is hit hard, losing focus and giving your team a crucial opening. Taking the cue, your fighter takes a deep breath and charges at the mercenary leader. It's a high-risk, high-reward moment, so they opt for a power attack. The minus 5 penalty to the roll is nerve-wracking, but the fighter rolls just high enough to land the attack. That plus 10 damage from power attack makes it a devastating blow, seriously injuring the leader and demoralizing the enemy ranks. Your icon, a charismatic and influential figure, recognizes this as the turning point of the battle. They decide to use the help action to assist your squad's gunner. They shout tactical advice, or perhaps use some form of tech to interfere with the enemy's gear, making it easier for the gunner to hit their marks. And now, it's the gunner's turn. Encouraged by the icon's support, the gunner aims their fully automatic weapon at a cluster of lesser mercenaries. They opt for burst fire. Yes, it comes with disadvantage, but thanks to the icon's help, that disadvantage is neutralized. The gunner fires, and the bullets find their mark. An extra damage die is added because of the burst. The tide of the battle turns decisively in your favor. And that's how you can make the most of Burst, Vital Strike, and Power Attack. These aren't just flashy terms, they're decisions that can alter the fate of your characters and the stories you tell. Use them wisely, and you won't just be a game master, you'll be a tactical genius. Until next time, 
keep those dice rolling.